Looking ahead to Argentina against Croatia, it's going to be a terrific atmosphere inside the Lisea. We've talked a lot about Messi, Ian, of course. A word about his strike partner, Julian Alvarez, Manchester City. Yep. And you have to think about who City let go to make you realise just how highly this young man must be rated. Yeah, and he's come in a couple of times, even the Verlin Island there, and you've seen flashes of what he's capable of and him playing tonight. I thought that Vitaro Martinez would have uh, kicked on in this uh, tournament. It ain't quite happened for him, but this Al Alvarez looks very sharp. And if, if he does get that half a chance, I, I, I do expect him to take it. He's very good. Yeah, and you always get the feeling with obviously Messi up front that he'd almost have a say in who's, who he's playing with. And he obviously, given uh, Alvarez his stamp of approval, it's a massive opportunity for him. I know it's sitting there absolutely loving. Perisic and Romero, of course, Tottenham teammates having the hug. The last time Tottenham teammates played each other in the quarter final, of course, Harry Kane and Hugo Lloris. What about uh, Emi Martinez, actually, in goal is a good story. Ten years ago, he was on loan at Oxford. Now he's playing in a, in a World Cup semi-final. Never give up, Roy. Never yeah, give no, up. absolutely not, of course. Again, a great example. Can Messi drag Argentina to the World Cup final, or will Luka Modric and Croatia spoil another plot line? Two changes for Argentina, who are without Marcos Acuna, who has been excellent at left back, and in and out right back, Gonzalo Montiel. Both are suspended. They return to a four tonight. Paredes starts for the first time since the opener, but all eyes will be on the man who's scored four times in five matches, Lionel Messi. European Cup winners, Cup winner, There's Lionel Scaloni, who is the head coach of Argentina. How's that go, Dalic? Modric has got it back again. Chance to cross from Juranovic, which is deep towards Lovren. He rose well, but two Argentine defenders collided. And just a little bit too deep. Chance for Alvarez. Has to squeeze that goalwards. Space for Pasalic. Perisic wants it on the near side. Kovacic eventually gets it to him. Kramaric is lurking at the far post. Perisic tries to chip the goalkeeper. Well, he spotted Martinez off his line. He thinks that there might have been a handball here. Everybody on the back foot from Argentina as soon as Modric gets the ball. Here's a chance for Argentina at the other end. And Alvarez has been brought down. It's been cleared off the line. A penalty is going to be given. And it's a yellow card for Lovakovic. Alvarez floored by the Croatia goalkeeper. There's a yellow card over on the far side as well. Shootouts. Lionel Messi scored one against Saudi Arabia, missed one against Poland, scored one in the shootout against the Netherlands. He doesn't have the best record from the spot. He has missed 28% of all penalties he's ever taken. He doesn't miss this one. Lift off in Lusail. In front of a crowd dominated by blue and white. Argentina have been gifted the lead. Well, you just fancied him, didn't you? Wee man pressure, penalty. Goal does well. Lovakovic goes the right way. You will see the, the fence get committed. Definitely takes him out after he flicks it around him. But when the goalkeeper goes the right way, you've got to lift him. And his effort is blocked. And now a chance for the counter-attack is on, and Messi has helped it through. Alvarez is scampering. Molina is sprinting through the centre. Alvarez might go in alone here. He's still going! Stop Brazil's music, but Croatia might not stop Messi. Alvarez and Argentina from having one last dance. It may all have been about the number 10 in the build up to the game, but that was one persistent number nine.
boys, a tremendous goal. Do not underestimate the part in it by Molina, the right fullback. He must run 30, 40 yards, and it forces the defenders into making the decision. Messi's looking for a free kick here. This is an incredible run. Brilliant run. And he just gets a break of the ball. McAllister, Rodrigo de Paul. He's going to hit it. And the deflection off the Bardiol sends it out for a corner kick. Rodrigo de Paul is asking for the referee to consider a possible handball here. Three minutes to go before half time. First Argentine corner. Ending towards that near post, and Lukakovic has had to make a save from Alexis McAllister. And it's a massive save. What a save this is. Look how close he is. Just sticks a left hand out. It's brilliant. Reflex. All that training. That's what that is. Far side for Juranovic. And there was a bit of a tussle. And initially, Pasalic thought it had gone out off Martinez. He still got it. There's three chasing him. And he wins a free kick in the final seconds of the first half. Great one. Well, Argentina are 45 minutes away from a fifth World Cup final. Thanks to Messi and Alvarez. Croatia have amazing powers of recovery, but this will take something very special. But I can't see it. Well, a couple of changes at half-time. Let's see how that uh, manifests itself with Ali McCoy, Lee Dixon and Sam Matterface. I think of more concern to Argentina fans is the uh, current health of Lionel Messi, who gets us off and underway, once again just tugging at the inside of his thigh as we kick off for the second half. Vlasic and Orsic are on. Both have made it. Rodrigo de Paul, McAllister still down, Paredes with the effort. And the referee still says play on, despite the fact that McAllister tries to take on Vardiol. Messi flicks it through, gets it back again for Fernandez. It's Messi! It's stopped by Lovakovic. Oh, I, I tell you, I, I don't care how much the ticket is to get in here, just, just to watch this. Look how strong he is. Sandro Martinez on. Free kick in towards Lovren, who's fighting with Martinez. Blasic almost got there. And the emotion has pulsated through the Argentine support. There's been a constant backdrop to this tournament. There is a yellow card for Christian Romero. The boys need to get around the boat. Blasic. Blasic. Uh-oh. Here comes Messi. Accelerating away from Vardiol. Twisting him, turning him, getting behind him, setting up Alvarez! Well, Lionel Messi may not be able to produce a 90-minute magic show anymore, but his sprinkling of sorcery might just be enough. He has just destroyed one of the World Cup's emerging stars and set up Julian Alvarez for what could be a significant goal. Well, just watch him here. It's not the pace, it's the slowing down and the speeding up. Bardiol thinks he's got him, then he goes again, then he stops him, then he turns him, then he goes again, and off the mark speed is absolutely sensational, and then puts it. And they are in a cracking position now. And even Croatia, the team that have come back, when Japan had them, when Brazil had them, Shot which goes towards Emi Martinez's goal is easily saved from Perisic. He's, he's throbbing once again. Perisic is trying the outlandish. Last one with him. Perisic, Orsic trying to squeeze it towards the far corner. It wasn't as close as maybe it looked. Taken and immediately on the attack, McAllister misses his opportunity. Watch Messi just as you switch off. Look, there you go. And the game changed, didn't it, after the penalty? Lovro Meyer, a flick to the far post, and Lovro couldn't reach it. And that might have made an unsettling last five minutes for Argentina. I don't know whether he's unsighted, I just think he's got his goal. It's a lovely flick on Lovro Meyer, and the deflection didn't outfox Emi Martinez. 
Well, first play to Vlasic. Meyer's gone on. Vlasic tries to curl it. And it's a goal kick. It's Dejan Lovren. He's going to hit it. Scripts like this are only written for the greatest. Luka Modric will depart the stage, but Lionel Messi will get the chance to star in a World Cup finale and have the opportunity to bow out in the most perfect of setting. Emotional celebration, deafening noise. The Argentine fans have invaded Qatar in their blue and white number 10 shirts. And they have been rewarded. Dejection for Modric and Croatia.